10 things that you need to consider if you're going to buy an investment property. Number one is how much is it going to cost you every single month to pay on that money you've taken out of your mortgage to refinance, to put as a down payment on that investment property. Number two is you need to make sure on the property that you purchase, what are the taxes? You need to take that number, divide it by 12, and then add that amount to the monthly rent you are charging to make sure they are covering that cost for you. Does the property have strata fees? If they do, take that number, add it to the amount that you're going to be charging in rent so your renters are paying the strata fees. How much does it cost for you to purchase this investment? You want to consider things like lawyer's fees, property transfer tax, all those things, inspection. If you're going to do an inspection on the property, those are costs of purchasing. How much is it actually going to cost you to purchase this home? How much is your monthly mortgage going to be on this property? Does the rental cover the mortgage with the addition of the strata fees and the annual taxes included into that? Have you considered vacancy? What happens if your rental property is vacant? Can you cover those costs? Is it going to be dipping into your own finances? Are you going to put some money aside and charge a little bit extra every single month to create your own reserve fund for if you end up with a vacant month that comes out of that pool to pay for that. What are you doing for this? Unexpected things can happen with properties. It's home ownership. What happens if you need to repair something? How are you gonna get the money to make those repairs? I suggest you add a bit more money onto your rental if you can each month to again, start putting money aside to save a pool of money for that rainy day fund, um, kind of like they do in Estrada as a reserve fund. If you need to repair anything, you can take money out of that. Or if you need to have, if you have a vacancy, you can take money of that to cover the cost. So it's not dipping in to your own pockets. How long are you planning on having this investment property? Okay, 25 years and then your mortgage is paid off and now it's a retirement plan and that money is now coming into your, that rental money is coming in as your retirement plan or are you planning on holding on to it for a short period of time? How long and what are your goals out of buying this investment property? Very important. What are going to be the selling costs associated this with this property when you want to sell it? You want to look at realtor fees. You want to look at if you have a assignment of a contract, is there an assignment fee? You want to look at your capital gains tax. How much money did you make off of this property in X amount of years? And how much tax will you going to have to pay? This is all very important to understand the costs of not only purchasing, but the costs of also selling. In the end, what you'll do is you'll do a projection of what you think the property will be worth in the amount of time that you're planning on holding it on for. Of course, real estate's unpredictable, but this is just a good idea to do so that you can look at that number, how much you would gain potentially, how much should it cost you to sell it, to purchase it, all those costs associated with the entire investment, and then how much did you actually net on average a year to have this investment. If you are considering making an investment purchase in real estate, I highly recommend that you reach out to myself. I'm a professional realtor that can go over different scenarios with you, go over all the costs to consider with the purchase that you are looking at. I also recommend that you go over this with a mortgage broker and a financial advisor to make sure that a real estate investment is the right decision for you to reach your financial goals. I'm Victoria Mejia with Varela Page Wilsoncroft. I am here to help you with all of your real estate needs. If you have any questions at all, just reach out to me and I'd love to help you out.